Good morning everyone. Today we're going to talk about Docker services. So let's have a look at how the world looks without services. Let's say I have my Hello app and it's a Docker container and all it does is it says hello, hello. So you can ping it. For example, you go to let's say mycoolapp.com and if you go there it says just hello very simple or let's say you could access it locally at the port 8080 that's where you would find your app okay so let's set it up first of all we've edited our hello world a bit from the first tutorial now it's looking like this it's a very simple Express app. For those of you that don't know Express, it's a, a routing framework for Node.js. So this is JavaScript um, and all it does is it says if you go to the basic URL of your website, then send a response that says hello world. And now this app listens in this example on port 3000 and it prints to the console example app is listening on port 3000 that's just a very basic five line example that you'll find on the express homepage then we have also modified our docker file uh, it looks now like this i'm getting node the latest version node 8 i'm setting the work directory here in the docker file Last time we have done this through the docker run or in the in the docker compose but now we are doing it in inside of the docker file. I'm copying uh, the, the package JSONs, all of them, so the store is for the regular package JSON or the package log JSON, it's a wildcard. I'm copying this into app and I'm running npm install in order to install all my node dependencies which are just express currently actually because it's a very simple package json and after that i'm also copying my app into my work there which is the hello world js now if we run this the classic way we would try to build this docker build minus t for tagging um, let's call it service toot and the last parameters the dot where our docker file is and we make the build and it went pretty fast and now let's try to run it docker run well, we want to run the service toot and we want to execute it with node hello world that's the command that that is ran by it and do we need optional parameters? Yes, we need a new optional parameter. We need to specify a port. And the port that we need to map is 3000, 3000. So what we haven't, co we haven't covered this yet, it's very similar as with the volumes from the first tutorial. Um, here we're gonna, since we have isolation going on, the ports aren't directly open from our Docker container to our host. And in order to access the ports from our host, we need to map them. And so here we say we map the port 3000 from the host to the port 3000 inside of the Docker container. And so at this port 3000, our app.js or our hello world.js is listening. And here the outside world will connect and this makes the bridge between the outside world and the, the docker container and now let's try to run it and i see the example app is listening on port 3000 that's what was logged at the end and as a next step uh, we are gonna see whether this actually works so uh, now i'm in a different terminal window where this is not displayed running and here I'm trying to curl this or see URL this and 
I'm going to try to access the localhost 3000 and it says hello world. And now let's go back to our conceptual overview. Now let's say our hello app, it gets very popular. People nowadays, they don't talk too much anymore with each other. And so people rely on our hello app now. They go there every day and let greet themselves. So we have quite a lot of load on our hello app, hypothetically. And we need more containers. Our single container can't handle all this load from all these people wanted, wanting to be greeted. And so what we do is we spin up a second container and maybe a third container. And we need to have them to listen at different ports, at least if they are on the same machine, if not if they are on, the, on a different machine. But spinning up all of those container instances manually is kind of hard and error prone. So we need a better way to manage our many container application. And this is where services come into play. So with the services, we have kind of a, a box around many container, or at least a conceptual box. It's my definition of a service would be, it's we, we specify, for example, we want three containers and with a service they, they are all identical containers so they have the same parameters they run at the same ports they use the same amount of resources they map the same volumes they build from the same image so they're exactly identical and they're available at the same port so for the outside world it doesn't really matter how many containers are behind there so they can just go to mycoolhelloapp.com and receive their hello statements and the whole world can go there. And as I, I notice an increase in load, I can just say in my service definition, for example, okay, now I have specified three hello world containers, but now I need four because um, there's more demand. And in the service definition, I can simply say, okay, I need more replicas. Okay, so how can I set up such a service? It's working with the Docker Compose file we've already seen in the last tutorial. And it's modified a bit now. So we still specify the version, we still, still specify the services. For example, that's exactly what we're building now, our hello service. The working there stays the same concept and the build also stays the same concept. It builds from the Docker file at the current directory. And then the command is also still the same. It's just the, the one from the end of the run parameter, so the hello world. And what's new now is the, the port specification that we want to open the port 3000. So it's basically again our run configuration mapped into here and what's new now is that we have specified here that we want to deploy five replicas of our hello service because it's so popular now if i want to run my service i simply can do this again with docker compose up and i see here it's actually running so i can curl this again localhost 3000 and we see hello world so it works and but I, I got a warning here so it says some services the hello use the deploy key which will be ignored oh no uh, compose does not support deploy configuration use docker stack deploy to deploy a swarm so we've we've seen we have now kind of written a service that could be replicated five times but we're missing this docker stack deploy thing and that's what we'll cover in the next video okay that's it for this first part about services but now to get them really running watch the second part thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and have a nice day